this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar Channel, and in today's video, I'll show you how I use the Felt app from my iPad to send beautiful, handwritten, personalized greeting cards and thank you notes without ever getting up from my chair. Okay, perhaps this is a little antiquated. After all, I'm someone who retrieves the snail mail from my mailbox approximately once per week. It usually looks like this. I'm pretty sure my mailman hates me. But for me, there are some occasions when a text or an email just won't do. Thank yous are almost always better in print. And plus, I have some traditional older folks in my life who insist on greeting cards to celebrate occasions. So this is something I did not grow up with. My parents did not send greeting cards. They were cheap in almost every way, so we tended to make cards from scratch. So I still prefer to send something a little more personalized than just a signed greeting card. And now I have found an app which makes this process super easy. Felt is an iPhone, iPad app that is free to download. It allows you to design a card, personalize it, and then hand write a message and a delivery address. And then they will print it, stamp it, and send it for you, all without you ever having to leave your chair. Genius. They charge about $3 a card, which is actually cheaper than most generic greeting cards these days. So Felt uses these cute, almost square cards, which they call frames. Their default option is just one frame, which has a personalizable front and back, kind of like a four inch square postcard. So you can always add additional frames up to a maximum of four, which felt will accordion fold together and then put into a single envelope. There are tiny perforations in the folds in case you wanna separate each frame to keep or to display. So let me show you how it works. My grandma's 95th birthday was last week and I sent her a felt card. So let's use that as an example. So once you enter the app and you have to create an account, um, you tap the plus sign to choose between three different kinds of cards. So first, let's select greeting card. The featured cards will be whatever is in season right now, but you can tap on the menu to choose from one of the categories, and there are a ton. So in this situation, I'm going to choose birthday. There are a bunch of really cute designs, some of which are less appropriate for a 95-year-old than others. Uh, so I'm going to pick this one that I think she'd like. Okay. So now that is the front of my frame and I can edit this further by tapping on it and then I can edit it with um, typed text or handwriting in marker or in pen. I can also change the ink color. So I'm gonna add a little bit of text for personalization. Okay, once I'm finished, I click the check mark and now I'm gonna work on the back of the card. Again, I can use the same edit tools to handwrite a message. I can also make the lines go away if I don't need them, but I always need them. And I can tap on the magnifying glass to make the screen a little bit larger for ease of writing. Um, in enlarged mode, this arrow button advances to the next spot for writing. So I'll write a personal note and hit the check mark when I'm done, okay? So if I'm ready to send the card at this point, I tap the arrow to go to the next step, and I can preview my card here by swiping right to check the back. Looks pretty good. So when I'm satisfied with that, I swipe left to move to the envelope. So tapping on this address field brings up an editable area for you to handwrite, or you can type the destination address. So once you're finished, um, hit add to order. At this point, the app is gonna ask you if you want to save this address to your address book. So I like this feature for frequent recipients. The next, Felt will ask if you wanna send it now. There's a two to five day delivery. They also have some international options. Or you can choose to send it at a future date. I think this is kind of nice, so you can do this all in advance while you're thinking about it and just set the date and so it will always get there on time. So I'm not gonna show you the checkout since that's pretty straightforward, but I do like how they save my credit card number and that makes the whole process even easier. Okay, so let's go back and this time let's choose to send a photo card. So this is actually the kind of card that I send the most often. Who wants a generic card when you can get a photo card? I also find that people love getting old photos from, of, of themselves. And since I can find all the pictures of a specific person so easily in Google Photos, and for more information on that, you can watch part four of my series on managing digital photos. So I go into Google Photos and I search using my grandma's name and I'm going to use this adorable photo. So I save it to my camera roll by choosing the share icon and then save image. So now I go back into felt 
And this time, when I start a new card, I choose Photo Cards instead, and I pick the picture that I have saved to my camera roll. So I can use the two fingers to pinch out, enlarge, and essentially crop my photo. So that looks pretty good. Okay, Felt gives you three filter options. There's none, there's a special felt filter, and then there's black and white. So usually the special felt filter is nice on the paper that they use for printing. So then you can choose to put a little razzle dazzle on the card with some fun designs. You can push this button up here to see the design categories. Let's see what they have for birthdays. Okay, so I think this one's kind of cute. I'm gonna use that. Okay, so I'm going to push the arrow to go to the next step, but you should know that once you push it, there doesn't seem to be a way to get back and edit the photo again without starting the process all over, so make sure that you're happy with what you've already done. So now this part should look familiar. You can add text or typing to the photo, and then just write on the back just the same as we did before. So the last two examples were just one frame cards with a photo or graphic on the front and then writing on the back. But you can add more frames up to four total, each one with the same format of image on the front, writing on the back. And then Felt will print them all together and then accordion fold them and stick them all in the same envelope. Each additional frame is $1 extra. So in order to add a frame, just hit add next frame and the app will take you back through the exact process that we just went through extras. So I've never actually done any of this, but Felt does allow you to add the following items. You can add a Visa gift card. So these actually replace the image on the front of the card. You can add cash and they will actually stick like a fresh $20 bill or whatever um, bill that you want in the card for you. You can add some physical gifts like flowers or framed photos. It's almost Halloween now, so they're running a pumpkin carving kit special right now. All of this costs extra, but it definitely streamlines the gift process. I love this app and I use it for greeting cards, thank you notes, and just to send cute photos that I come across. After all, it's such a nice surprise these days to get something that isn't junk mail in the mailbox. So let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated and thanks for watching.